You can call me Mr. Croup, and you can call my brother associate, Mr. Vandermar. You may have had nightmares about us. We are currently executing a commission in London below. That city of the lost and forgotten that exists, as it were, contemporaneously with the other London of the same name. There's a girl called Dor, and she's on her way to see an angel. And there's the Marquis de Carabas, and he came to see us. Always a mistake. I understand, Mr. Croup, a collector of Tang Dynasty figurines. How did you know that? People tell me things. I'm approachable. Even if I were? If you were, you might be interested in this. <sighs> What's to stop us taking it and leaving little bits of you all over the underside? We've never dismembered a marquee before. Have in York in the 14th century in the rain. He wasn't a marquis, he was the Earl of Exeter. And Marquis of Westmoreland. What's to stop us hacking you into as many pieces as we hacked the Marquis of Westmoreland? Oh, please. No more silly threats. I think I feel better if you were both sitting down. Name your price. This wine, it is the last bottle of its kind. I was given a dozen bottles by one of your ancestors. This was uh, 30, 40,000 years ago. I suppose that you could accuse me of squandering something that I should treasure. But I receive guests so rarely, and the way here is hard. The Angelus. You traveled here using the Angelus, yes. But that way only works once for each traveler. Drink it carefully. It's most potent. When one tastes it, I like to imagine that one is actually tasting the sunlight of bygone days. A toast to former glories. Former, former glories. glories. Wow. It's magical. I've never tasted anything like it. You never will again. There is no more wine from Atlantis. I don't know what you drank, but it must have been potent. No wonder Atlantis sank. If they all felt like this in the morning, it must have been a relief. Where are we? In the stables of a friend. Oh, Temple and Arch. Oh, am I dead? No. That's Serpentine's crest. Serpentine of the Seven Sisters, we have to run! And do you think you can enter Serpentine's house without Serpentine knowing, child? Do not worry. Hunter worked for me long ago. Her friends are my friends, child. Oh, you've kept your looks better than I, Hunter. How long? 
long did we say we'd give him? An hour. You follow him, Mr. Vandermar. I need a little more time in which to savor the occasion. Is it an hour yet? You find this funny, Monsieur Marquis, do you not? A source of amusement, is that not so? With our pretty clothes and our convoluted circumlocution. Oh, God, a circumlocution. And our little sillinesses of manner and behaviour. And perhaps we are funny. But you must never imagine that just because something is funny, Monsieur Marquis, it is not also dangerous. Circumlocution. A way of speaking around something. A digression. Verbosity. I wonder. Your hero is unable to hold his wine, I see. He's not my hero. I'm afraid he is. Oh, you learn to recognize the type. There's, uh, something in the eyes, perhaps. Bring a restorative for the gentleman. When I last saw your father, I told him that if he ever came back here, I'd turn him into a blind worm. All that foolishness about uniting the underside. <laughs> How is your father? Dead. <gasps> See? You're beast hunting, then. You'll want the spear, of course. What are you giving him? Nothing that will hurt him. You are guests. Has he come round yet? No, Mr. Creep. I think I broke him. You must be more careful with your toys, Mr. Vandermark. There. I've had my fill of hospitality. Hunter, my dear, you are always welcome here. Child, young man, good day. Well, that was sharp and tiny. She seems nice enough. When they want to make children behave themselves on the underside, they tell them, behave, or serpentine will get you. What is it, Hunter? What is what? What is it you want? I fought in the sewers beneath New York with a great blind white alligator king. He was 30 feet long, fat with sewage, and fierce in battle. And I bested, and I killed him. His eyes were like huge pearls in the darkness. I fought the bear that stalked the city beneath Berlin. He had killed a thousand men, and his claws were stained brown and black with the dried blood of a hundred years. But he fell to me. He whispered words in a human tongue as he died. And I shall slay the beast of London. They say his hide bristles with swords and spears 
and knives stuck in him by those who have tried and failed. His tusks are razors, and his hooves are thunderbolts. I will kill him, or I will die in the attempt. Up a little, left a little, there. Lovely. Naughty. What is this? Pea Super. London in particular. Hasn't been one in the up world for 40 years now. <coughs> that doesn't sound good. Fog in my throat. Not again. There are little bubbles of old time in London where things and places stay the same. Like bubbles and amber. There's a lot of time in London and it has to go somewhere. It doesn't all get used up at once. I may still be hungover. That almost made sense. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. Hold fast. State your intentions. We're here for a key. Enough. You may come forward. I turn my head and you may go where you want. I turn it again and you will stay till you rot. I have no face, but I live or die by my crooked teeth. Who am I? I turn my head, crooked teeth. Go where you... A key. Your key. A wise one. That's two steps taken. One more to take. So one of them is left to face the ordeal of the key. Oh no. Ordeal? Someone's got an ordeal waiting for them. Let him or her stand forward now. Let me take his place. I will face the ordeal. We cannot permit that. This ordeal of yours, how much of an ordeal is it? Is this the kind of ordeal like going to visit a rather elderly, ill-tempered female relative is an ordeal? Or is this kind of ordeal more like a, more like a plunging your hand into scalding hot water to see how fast it takes off the skin sort of ordeal? We're looking for a key. Yes. It's for an angel. Yes. Well, you can't say no to an angel. Especially a man of the cloth like yourself. Look, why don't you just skip the ordeal bit? You just hand the key over and I'll... I'll tell them that we ordeal. When our order was founded, we were entrusted with the key. It is one of the holiest, the most powerful of all sacred relics. We must pass it on, but only to the one who survives the ordeal. And if I fail, can I come back later for a second go? Not really, my son. If that should happen, you will in all probability be, uh, well, <laughs> be uncaring. This is our wall of those who failed. To ensure that they are none of them forgotten. That is our burden also. Memorial. The first part of the ordeal of the key 
is the nice cup of tea. Do you take sugar? Uh, no. Thank you. Is it poisoned? Good gracious, no. But this is part of the ordeal. Part of the ordeal for us. Not for you. Ah. Rather nice tea, all things considered. Would you mind if we... Uh, just... got on with your deal, please? Not at all. Not at all. Well... Lead on, Macduff. Best of luck. It's Leon Macduff, actually, but I hadn't the heart to correct him. He seems such a nice young man. Him, Melanie. Why do people like that stay alive, Melanie? Not enough guts to end it all. Pathetic. Jesus. Hi, Dick. You all right? Gary, you know who I am. <laughs> you always were a kidder. What's happening? I'm not trying to tell you this a bit awkward. What's happening? I'm not really here. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm you talking to yourself. Gary. Maybe... Gary. This one. You're standing at Blackfriars Station at rush hour. And you're talking to yourself. And you know what they say about people who talk to themselves? I don't know who you are, but you're not very convincing. Don't even look like me. I am you, Rachel. I'm whatever's left of your mind. Hi. Concentrate! I'm Gary. Look at this, please. Brennan. Try and see the people. I'm... Sorry. Try and see the truth. Is this some kind of a joke? Try and see the people. Are you... Gary Brennan. Yes. I'm afraid not. I'm still you. But you have to listen, darling. You're the closest to reality you've been in. You people keep talking about the closest to reality. The closest to sanity. Where I couldn't leave her. Is this part of the ordeal? Ordeal? Or if I try. With the Blackfriars who live under London, there's a key I've got to get for this angel called Islington. Be right with you. Listen to yourself, Richard. I'm a believer. Can't you tell how ridiculous all this sounds? You're not going through an ordeal, Richard. You had some kind of nervous breakdown a week ago. Cracked up utterly. I broke off our engagement. Can I help you? You've been acting so strangely. I'm not here. Strangely, it was like you're a different person. I... I couldn't cope. I'm warning! Then you vanished. I wandered alone and crazy through the streets of London. Sleeping under bridges. I'm not here. Eating food from bins and skips. Not here. Shivering and lost. Richard Oliver Mayhew. And alone. What? Muttering to myself. Talking to people who just weren't there. <laughs> Jessica, Richard. I'm so sorry, Richard. Shit! Sorry. Can I help you? Sorry, Richard, what are you doing? Sorry, Richard. So sorry. No! You still want someone to tell you what to do. <laughs> Richard, I'm you. 
The only advice I can give you is what you're telling yourself. Only maybe you're too scared to listen. You are not in me. Touch me. <laughs> See, I'm not here. And all there is is you talking to yourself, walking up and down the platform, trying to get up the courage. Trying to get up the courage to do what? London Transport would like to apologize for the delay. This is due to an incident at Blackfriars Station. Richard, your life was a joyless, loveless, empty sham. You got no friends. I've got you. I think you're a tosser. I've got Dawn and Hunter. I've got anesthesia. More imaginary friends. <laughs> we all used to laugh at you around the office for those trolls. <laughs> you remember them on your desk. <laughs> But father... What is it? He's not dead. Oh, one of those, eh? Oh well, we'll look after the poor creature until it passes on to its ultimate reward. Lead it to the infirmary. I am not a poor creature. I think I got through it. Unless this is more of the ordeal. No, my son. I think I'll have that cup of tea now, if you don't mind. Of course. This way. Excuse me, sir. Don't forget your key. Oh, yes. Thanks. By my crooked teeth. Who am I? Richard. We've lost the key. God help us all. Mr. Crook, I want the girl called Dor kept safe on her journey back to Nothing must hurt her. Safe? Right. Uh, by the by, do you recall the Marquis de Carapace? Of course. I take it there is no such similar prohibition on extirpating him? Not any longer. Just protect the girl. What did he say, Mr. Crook? He said, Mr. Vandermar, that we should feel free to do whatsoever we wished with the Marquis. Did that include killing him painfully? Yes, Mr. Vandermar. I think, on reflection, that it did. That's good, Mr. Crook. Wouldn't like another tailing off. Better get rid of the body, then. <laughs> 